Georgia's health care system is entering its busiest season for traumatic injuries, but this year they'll be operating with one less hospital. Wellstar's Atlanta Medical Center will close its doors on November 1st, leaving the Peach State with just four level one facilities. And one of them is located right here in Savannah. News 3's Daisy Kershaw is joining us now after talking with the Chief of Trauma and Surgical Critical Care at Memorial Health. So Daisy, uh, what are the potential impacts of this closure locally and statewide? Well, Tina, Dr. James Dunn tells me that there's already a shortage of health care workers nationwide and that the state is already underserved when it comes to having accessible trauma care centers for all Georgians. With Memorial Health being the second busiest trauma center in the Peach State, Dr. Dunn anticipates there'll likely be a trickle effect when Wellstar finally closes its doors in the next few weeks. And it's problematic, definitely. Um, I, there'll be a trickle effect almost assuredly. As Wellstar's Atlanta Medical Center prepares to close its doors on November 1st, the remaining Trauma One centers are bracing for the potential influx of new patients. Well, we're one of the higher functioning trauma centers in, in the state right now. Um, we're all second only behind Grady as far as overall volume, uh, and we are close to being maxed out as well. With Wellstar's closure, Atlanta is left with only one top trauma center. Grady Memorial Hospital. Their ER receives about 7,000 critical patients a year, with Memorial Health right behind them taking in about 4,500 patients. Wellstar's emergency room sees around 3,000 patients a year, raising concerns about where those additional trauma victims will go. Everyone is operating at max capacity prior to AMC closing, so it's going to be challenging for the state in general. Um, to, um, you know, handle that increased workload. An additional 3,000 is going to strain the system for sure. And right now, Dr. James Dunn says there's no way to know exactly how this will impact us here. But with Megan's Medical Center, Navicent Health being the next closest to Grady, we could see a trickle-down effect. If some of the AMC patients end up working their way down to Macon, the southern half of Atlanta where they may have gone to uh, AMC, but they end up going to Macon, and then the southern half of Macon's region may end up coming to Savannah. But Dr. Dunn says it's not just about who has the resources. With trauma, it's all about timing when it comes to saving lives. We always talk about the golden hour, right, and trying to get uh, trauma patients to a definitive care facility uh, trauma center within an hour to improve their outcomes. Um, that's going to be challenging uh, potentially with AMC closing. Dr. Dunn says a swift response is only part of the problem. A nationwide shortage of nurses and bed space at hospitals could exacerbate this issue. Nursing resources are scarce all over, and people are, are all hospitals are challenged with, uh, you know, staff opening up enough beds to care for patients. Dr. Dunn says that despite concerns, our emergency room is still fully equipped to continue serving patients throughout the region and that they're going to continue to assess and address any future impacts of this closure. Daisy Kershaw, WSAV News 3, on your side.